here, what's happening guys? Mark back in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. I've just put, I've decided to go with a, a rear lit, uh, a rear lit tank. So basically what that means is, is we've put some frosted coating on the, um, on the back of the aquarium here. But you can buy any of your uh, DIY shops and places like that for just the household windows. Um, privacy glass comes under as well and it's super simple to put on you basically just it, you peel it off the off the back end and it's not sticky okay so you just spray it down with water first with a squirter lay it on slide it around to exactly where you want it cut it to size and then literally just get a squeaky I've got one around here somewhere I've got one of these and you just literally run it across like that and just push all the water out and that's it and it's done it does a fantastic job now by doing that you're going to get some like diffused light we're going to get now behind here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a, a light along the back here somewhere maybe use an led strip um or maybe a tube light i'm not sure what i'm going to go for at the moment leds are obviously cheap in a run so i'll probably go for that option i think but I have got a couple of uh, T5s or THUs kicking around somewhere, so I might um, I might try that and see how that looks. But that's going to give that that nice warm glow raising up the back, which will give it a really nice effect. So I'm going to go on a planted tank with this one. So it's going to be we're going to be using the um, the aquascaping proscape volcanic mineral stuff from JBL that they sent that they sent four bags of four nine litre sacks of. I think it's going to be too much to be honest, but we've got other little projects that we can that we can do. But on this one as well, we're going to put in the under gravel heating as well. That's going to go in here today. And so what I thought I'd do is I'd run through you with it and show you how to um, to set this thing up, tell you the ins and outs about it, give it a little review as we're going along. So I'll open the old boxy up there. First thing that pops out is our uh, is our manual, which covers all nationalities there. So we're going to have to find our UK. If you look down the front there, UK second one in, and that's what we should have in the box. Already, I can see the little transformer box there, and the heater cable suckers. So we can stand that up there a minute, open this up, comes with a couple of screws so we can attach it, I can attach it up on the wall here somewhere so we can keep our eye on things. Right, we'll get rid of that bit of packaging there, put that to one side, right, we've got this little tiny transformer here. And we've got some sucker cups, which are going to stick to the bottom of the aquarium. And we've got our silicone coated heater cable. And we've got a couple of screws. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that all down there for a moment. I'll leave the screws in the box because we don't want to be scratching my new, my new back in. It's quite, it's quite tough stuff, but I think if I drag the screw across it, it won't do it much good at all. Hope you don't. Now with these things, these aren't a substitute for the main heater in your tank, okay guys? So don't go thinking you can buy one of these and have it just under your gravel, under your substrate. Basically all these do is they create a warmth underneath the gravel, okay? So then what happens is, is that as that heat slowly rises up through the gravel, you're creating flow. Very, very slight flow, just like a thermal, like the ground's got a thermal effect to it in the soil. It's warm under the ground, if you're outside and it's cold and you dig under the ground, it's going to be a few degrees warmer underneath the ground. And the same applies to your fish tanks as well. Um, as, your plants, as your plants roots are going down, this is going to raise that temperature up 
which is going to be beneficial, it's going to create the oxygen and that slow flow throughout your gravel and your media, okay? So that's going to make it perfect conditions for your plants to grow. And whilst that heat's rising from out of your media, okay, that means that your colder water then is going to be going down into the media. So it's like a very, very slow process rotation of nutrients coming out and nutrients going in. So it's like a little conveyor belt the nutrients it creates, which is um, really beneficial to all your plants, okay? They're really low, um, low voltage as well. They're only 12 volts. This little transformer it will transform it down to 12 volts. Okay, it's a 20 watt transformer down to 12 watts. So you've got no hazard there at all from um, electric shock or anything like that, okay? Because I know a lot of people think electricity and water and they start to worry, but you've got no trouble whatsoever with these little 20 watts. Like I say, it's only 12 volts, the equivalent of a 12 volt battery. So um, you've got nothing to worry about there. Right, you've got to make sure these little transformers, because they're going to get warm as well, we're going to put them up on the top there. I'll show you later on when it's when it's all fitted. But I'm going to screw that up. You've got to keep these in a ventilated area, okay? To make sure we've got plenty of airflow around them and um, to keep them nice and cool. Because it's a transformer, it's going to warm up slightly and create a bit of heat there, okay? See, yeah, I've had one of these in the planted tank for four guys and um, a good while ago now. But they're absolutely fabulous. If you've got a planted tank with one of these in and a planted tank without, without one of these in, you will see the difference, or you will see a big difference in your um, in the health of your plants. You'll see a really good, um, beautiful coloration in your leaves, stunning colours, and they really will pop out. That is for sure. Right, I think what we're going to do now is have a bit of my coffee. I think. Cheers for all you guys who have, um, to all you guys who have been watching this build so far. I've had some nice, um, nice comments come back. A couple of you have asked me about stocking, what I'm going to put in here. I've been thinking on the lines of a community tank or, because it's going to be an aquascape, I'm going to put the bonsai trees in here that we've created some time back in the shrimp room because that's going to be all changed around. A lot of the shrimp room is going to come back. It's going to be coming into the workshop here. Because I think the wife's got plans for that other room and I think I'm being evicted, which is not a good sign. But there you go, I've got room in the workshop so I can put um, put a lot of this stuff out here. So we're going to have a think, community tank. We're going to have shrimp in here, definitely. I say I've got hundreds of crystal reds and blacks and sakuras in the shrimp room. So we're going to put some of them in here for sure. Like you say, not going to be too worried about the breeding side of things because I want to put fish in here as well. So a few of the odd shrimp hooks might get picked off. But it's going to have a lot of moss in here. I'm going to put a carpet down. I'm going to carpet this one right through. With some nice bonsai trees and some nice rock work with this lit background I think it's going to look really nice and it'll make a, a nice backdrop that's the only thing I wanted to make it look a nice backdrop so you guys can see when I'm when I'm building things in here you can watch and follow along and you can be looking at that as well as what I'm doing so it'll, uh, it'll be a nice little, nice little effect I think right now with this because this is such a high tank I can't do this upright so I'm going to have to reset you up and I'm going to have to go in this way and put the wires in. Now JBL sent me two of these, so what I'm going to be doing is putting them both. Then I'm going to have one, obviously with the wires coming through that end, and then one with the transformer that end, sorry, and one with the transformer that end. And we can put them up behind the tank then, and when it's lifted up then we can wire it all up and I'll show you how it, it all wires up together before we put the uh, substrate in, okay? Right, okay guys, what we've got now is the tank on its side and you see my arm going in there like that. We've got the base down there, we've got all these suckers. Now what we've got to do, this is this is on a big loop, okay? So you want the power coming in and the power coming out. So it goes on a circuit and it, so what we've got to do is, is we've got to make sure that both of these ends end up at one side, on the left hand side of the tank. And then we're going to put the other one on the right hand side of the tank. But what we've got to do first is we've got to zigzag these suckers. I might just do straight zigzaggy lines. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to get all these stickers in place. And if you look at the stickers there, suckers, sorry. They've got that small little hole 
through them and you can just clip in on the top so when that's stuck on there that cable then will clip into that sucker like so okay and it'll keep it off the bottom so your substrate then will completely surround that cable okay and then you'll get a nice even heat going all through the media raising those nice healthy little minerals up in that thermal action and um, and creating a lovely little environment for your little plants so I'm going to start sticking these now all the way over the back and we're going to make and then I'll clip this all in okay in fact I'll do it and then I'll go through afterwards what we've done Okay guys, there you go, we've got all the uh, suction cups in now, all the way along, and we've suspended the wire now, in amongst them all, and got that on a loop. So I've got one coming up on this side, and we've got one coming out now from this side here, which we're now gonna, we're gonna wire into the, um, into this little transformer, okay? So I'll sit you back up on the tripod, and, um, and we'll have a look at that in a second but yeah you can see now the way that raises it off the bottom and your substrate's going to go in amongst it and underneath it and you want about four centimeters which is near enough the width of the uh, of the piece of timber that we put across the front here okay so we're going to fill that up with the um the volcanic rock first and get some shape into it and then um we can put our our top coat on then right let me set you up Right guys, we've got the um, two little transformers now on, on the bench. We've just got to unscrew these little caps now. Take those off, put that to the side, take the little wire clamp off there. On both of these. I did loosen those a little bit. Just put those back there. And that over there. Now all it is, you've got two... You've got your uh, your mains power coming in there and then what you want to do doesn't make any difference which one goes where because it's just the loop and then basically you undo one of these on each side and then just like doing a plug you just pop them in there and then screw him up. Clamp him down nice and tight. Not over tight, but nice and snug in there. The same with the other one. 
and then wind that down on top of there as well. And then we put that little wire clamp again back over the top like that. Making sure that they're free. Coming through there. Change your screwdriver. And then you just wind that down and uh, not over tightening that again. Just when you feel a little bit of pressure, that's it. And then that's all there is to it, guys, now. So you, you've got all that ready. We're in the tank. You can see them at the back there. That's the type that they are. That's all I've got to do now is wire up this one. And then we're going to screw them up onto the wall and I'll show you where I'll put them okay in a minute. Okay guys, there you go, we put those up, well the little transformers now we put up there, one up there and one just over there now. So everything's in the tank, all secure, fastened down, all the way along. And now we've got some nice backing on there as well, so we've got to get our rear light fitted. But I think what I might do first is I'm just going to cover up this, I'm going to put some of that media in, I'll just put you, uh, put you down for a second. Right guys, I've opened the bag up for you now. Now you can see the uh, the granular size of this crushed volcano rock, volcanic rock, sorry. And um, it's great little porous properties. This stuff is full of natural minerals, it really is. There's calcium in there, magnesium, potassium, manganese, boron, iron. It's all in there, it's a real mixture of minerals um, which are extremely beneficial to your, um, to your plants for sustaining health and um, vigorous growth and all that sort of stuff. You want to put it, I don't know, about two, like I said before, it's about, this is about four centimetres, just over. So this is going to be a good base height to cover the, um, the elements in there, the heating elements. And with this stuff being so, so porous and granular like this, like I was saying before, when these heaters go on, you get that thermal action going on so that the water the heat slowly permeates up through this stuff okay because because it doesn't clump together being granular like this okay guys so I've opened up a bag of the um, ProScape volcano mineral stones media and you can see that it's quite granular so we get lots and lots of oxygen transfer through that and this stuff's absolutely jam-packed with um, trace elements like uh, boron and manganese. You've got calcium in there, magnesium, potassium. It's all in there, so it's a real good natural supply of vitamins. Really good supply of, um, of trace elements for your plants to root into and get some uh, and get some nutrition for the for the good growth that you, you know for the growth that you're going to get. And you're going to get some amazing growth off this stuff with the topsoil on there as well, which is another one we're going to have to get. Um, to do now is I'm going to put some of this into the tank I won't take you through all that process and then we can get some shape into it I'll show you when I put it in and we can start making some some shape into there as well alright we'll start tidying it up a bit right guys we've got the media in now bank that up nice and high at the back there because we want to give it a little bit more depth if we can that vision of depth by packing up the, the substrate gives you that extra uh, bit of height there, gives you that illusion of height. So uh, that's a good thing to do. Like I say, J and JBL sent us all these all these tools as well, these aquascaping tools, which I'll do a once we get the other lights rigged up, we'll go through those. This one was fantastic, little paddle just for raking up the media at the back. And obviously we've got the long tongs as well and the wave scissors but obviously we don't need those as yet because we haven't got anything in there to cut so that's all good now i've got the three lights there i've got these fully adjustable lights they've got dimmers on them they got they're all singing and dancing they're one of my old marine tanks and um so i've transferred them onto here as well and they're going to give us some fantastic growth on the plants 
when we get this thing planted up. And another thing that I've done as well is I've fitted the um, the rear light to it as well. So I'll just turn off these main lights and uh, I'll turn the back light on. There you go, well there's the lights off. And now I'll come round and I'll put the back light on and you can see what that looks like. You got a, we've got a really nice little glow there coming up and it's going to create some magic silhouettes on there with the trees and the other different things and the stonework that we're going to be putting in there. So uh, pretty happy the way that's turned out so far. Anyway guys, I'm going to call it a day on this one. Cheers for tuning in. And um, as always, guys, you're all stars. Love you all. You're the best subs in the world. Thanks for, uh, for sticking with me. And um, I'll see you again on the next episode of Mark's Aquatics. Take care. Be safe. Bye for now.